Welcome back to our Excel tutorial series. Today, we're diving into one of the most powerful features in Excel, pivot tables. If you work with large amounts of data, pivot tables allow you to summarize, analyze, and explore data efficiently without complex formulas. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to create a pivot table step by step. Summarizing data with pivot tables, sum, count, average, etc. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create and customize pivot tables like a pro. Let's get started! Before we create a pivot table, we need data to work with. Let's say we have a sales data set for a store. Order ID, product, category, salesperson, region, sales, dollar. One thousand and one, laptop, electronics. John, North, 1200. One thousand and two. Phone, Electronics, Sarah, South, 800. One thousand and three. Chair, Furniture, Michael, East, 300. One thousand and four. Desk, Furniture, John, West, 450, 1005, TV, Electronics, Sarah, North, 1100, 1006, Laptop, Electronics, Michael, East, 1350, 1007, Chair, Furniture, John, South, 275, 1008, Phone, Electronics, Sarah, West, 700. Once you've entered this data, make sure all columns have proper headings, as Excel uses these to create. The pivot table. Now that we have our data ready, let's create a pivot table. First, select any cell inside the dataset, E, G, A1. Click on the insert tab at the top. Select pivot table from the menu. A pop-up window will appear. Ensure the selected table or range option is chosen and your entire dataset is selected. Choose new worksheet to place the pivot table in a new sheet. Click OK. Now, you'll see a blank pivot table with the pivot table fields pane on the right. Before we start summarizing data, let's understand the four key areas of a pivot table. Rows, displays unique values from a selected field. Columns, groups data across columns. Values, calculates totals, averages, or counts. Filters, allows filtering the data. Now, let's build a simple report to summarize total sales by region. Let's create our first pivot table report. In the pivot table fields pane, drag region into the rows area. You'll see a list of regions appear in the pivot table. Drag sales, dollar, into the values area. Excel automatically sums the sales for each region. Now, 
you have a quick summary of total sales by region. By default, Excel sums the values in pivot tables, but you can change this to other calculations like count, average, min, or max. Click on sum of sales, dollar, in the values area. Select value field settings. Choose a different calculation, such as average. Click OK, and now the pivot table shows the average sales per region instead of the total. You can also filter and sort data easily in a pivot table. Click the drop down arrow next to region in the pivot table. Uncheck any region you don't want to display. Click OK, and the pivot table updates instantly. To sort the data, click on sum of sales, dollar. Go to the sort and filter option in the ribbon. Choose sort largest to smallest to arrange regions by highest sales first. Now, let's make our pivot table even more useful by adding multiple fields. Drag salesperson into the columns area. Now, the pivot table breaks down sales by region and salesperson. This allows us to see which salesperson performed best in each region. Let's make our pivot table more readable. Click anywhere inside the pivot table. Go to the pivot table design tab. Select a pivot table style that makes the data easier to read. Adjust column widths if necessary for better visibility. In this video, we covered how to create a pivot table from scratch. How to summarize data using sum, count, and average. How to filter, sort, and customize pivot tables. Pivot tables are one of the most powerful tools in Excel, and by practicing with different data sets, you'll quickly master them. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Excel tips.